Hey everyone, this is Lila from Starstruck Media. Today I'm here with Steph and Nick, and we're really excited. We have a very, very special episode today. So just, I know I always say that I'm really excited, but like me and Steph, we are super excited today because we're actually talking with two of our favorite Thai actors. So today we are here with Pond and Poon. Hi guys, how are we doing today? Hi. <laughs> so nice to meet you. How are you guys today? Nice to meet you too. Uh, thank you for sparing all your time for us. <laughs> okay, so he's also really excited because it's the first time speaking with an American media. So happy to hear that. We're happy we're your first. Super exciting. Um, so first and foremost, just to kind of get this out of the way, me and Steph are big fans of you guys. We actually, one of our uh, first shows that we actually watched together was your show, Fish Upon the Sky. And we were <laughs> obsessed. Yes, we literally made it a thing. I would go over her house, order pizza, and we would just <laughs> watch it. <laughs> so yeah. you guys are such incredible actors. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Um, and so we're really excited for your new show, you know, Never Let Me Go. Now, at the time that we're doing this interview, we're already two episodes in, and it's amazing so far. So for those of our audiences um, or audience that have not seen or heard of the show yet, can you kind of give us a little bit about it and a little bit about your characters? So, uh, the gist of the story is that uh, uh, my name is, in a story, I plays a character called Nindiro, right? Uh, mm -hmm. He runs a, a big business, a big environment. And uh, the story starts when his father gets assassinated, as there are people who are trying to buy for his wealth, trying to go for his power, right? Uh, basically trying to get his inheritance. And uh, uh, Ningyo's mother becomes worried and tries to get him a bodyguard, which is Bam. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, the story kicks <laughs> off from there. Awesome. So, sorry, Yes, I mean, yes, absolutely. Well, you know, like I said, we are absolutely loving the show so far. We are hooked, cannot stop watching it. So excited for the next few episodes. Um, and being that Never Let Me Go is pretty different or quite different, I should say, than your previous show together. Right. So, you know, you guys had a little bit more of like the cutesy, you know, show before. And now this is more like drama and action packed, which we're super excited for. So, you know, being that it is quite different, can you kind of tell us a little bit about what you needed to do to prepare for your roles? Uh, <laughs> อะไรบ้างหรือเปล่าครับ um, so as for the both of us uh, it mostly consisted of workshopping together uh, mm -hmm. getting in tune with the character getting in tune with the roles as uh, let's be honest both of these roles aren't really people you find in everyday life yeah uh, very true <laughs> they aren't people who are, you are going to be able to relate to most of the time so uh, it was the same case for us and we had to uh, we had to tune into the characters a bit. Uh, we had a lot of acting classes. We had a lot of work workshops together, and yeah, it was. It took quite some time for us to get into the to the characters. ซีรีส์เรื่องนี้อย่างที่บอกว่าเออมันก็จะค่อนข้างคลิกบทบาทกับฟิชอปอนเดอะสกายเพราะว่าคือเรื่องนั้นก็จะเป็นฟิลแบ
super excited to see what else is coming from it. So we're, we're, we can't wait. We're really excited. So something that, you know, me and Steph, and I know fans all over the world of you guys love is the chemistry that you guys have, right? So we saw it in Fish Upon the Sky, and now we're seeing it already in the first two episodes of this show. So for you guys, what, and I'm sure you've been asked this, but we want to know too, like, what was your first impressions of each other? Like, did you guys hit it off right away? Did it take some time to build that chemistry? How did it go for you guys? ก็สําหรับทั้งคู่นะครับก็คือสิ่งที่คนคนแฟนๆชอบดูนะครับสําหรับทั้งคู่เลยก็คือสิ่งการที่ว่าทั้งคู่ดูเข้ากันได้มากน้อยแค่ไหนนะดูเข้ากันได้มากเลยนะครับก็อยากรู้ว่าตอนทั้งคู่มาเจอกันครั้งแรกเนี่ยมีความประทับใจอะไรกันบ้างก็คือมาถึงปุ๊บเข้ากันได้เลยเล่นด้วยกันได้เลยรักกันสนิทกันเลยหรือว่าต้องมีผ่านอะไรมาบ้างถึงจะมาสนิทกันได้ถึงขั้นขั้นนี้ครับคือคือจริงมันก็มันก็มีเรื่องราวของมันนะครับแต่ถ้าเกิดพูดถึงเรื่องการที่แบบว่าเราจูนเราแบบว่าเข้าซีด้วยกันเลยมันใช้เวลาไม่นานก็จูนติดแล้วครับเลยแต่ว่าด้วยระยะเวลาที่รู้จักกันมาตลอดแล้วมันก็จะมีความแบบเออได้เจอเรื่องราวต่างๆมาด้วยกันอะไรอย่างเงี้ยแต่พอทํางานมาด้วยกันเรื่อยๆมันจะรู้ว่าแบบเออเขาก็มีหลายเรื่องที่น่าประทับใจผมเพราะว่าคือเป็นคนทํางานหนักแล้วก็ตั้งใจทํางานครับคือเราอยู่ด้วยกันตลอดแล้วก็จะรู้ว่าแบบเออเขาเป็นยังไงรู้จักกันประมาณไหนอะไรโอเค well of course like uh, when they first met each other it's actually not that hard to work together and like play oh, scenes no. together right away but um with it being such a long time that they've worked together and that they've known each other there are stories that happens and experiences that they were able to go through together so with it they get to know each other much more and then they were able to follow each other's cue and then work together much better as time goes on mm-hmm. okay. I won't really go into detail of uh, how we first met, yeah. since I think we are <laughs> so a, a lot of media about this. However, one thing that we have never really talked about is uh, the first time that we acted together. Mm. So, originally, right in Fish Upon the Sky, um, we casted many roles yeah. uh, and many different people for the roles. And so, one of the characters that I casted uh, at first was wasn't actually B, right? It was actually. Mm. Uh, It was actually mean. Yeah. What? Oh. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. So that was the character that I was casted for. However, um, uh, due to circumstances, like we switched the roles around, and I got a chance to uh, audition together with him, like uh, go into a scene together and try to play. And from the moment that we started that scene to the end, uh, the director really loved the chemistry and really liked uh, how we played together and. Uh, And are acting together as before, right? Uh, when b i p o n was in uh, the same scene with another person, uh, they were laugh. <laughs> yeah, he he was laughing a lot, and <laughs> they were having a lot of fun. But however, like uh, he wasn't w- w- what should I call it? He wasn't really uh, that that into the role yet. However, like once we got together and once we like started uh, the scene together. Uh, I think the director saw like some, saw something special, and then he chose the both of us to play those roles. First of all, that is awesome! Like we would have so no cool. idea. That is so cool. cool. <laughs> um, if I was the director, I too would cast the both of you guys because you guys <laughs> great chemistry. So this is the story that I'll be that never told anyone. Yeah, we we haven't really told yeah. told any media the story. Well, well, I am yeah. honored that you came <laughs> <So> here. <cool. laughs> Thank you. That's really cool. But that's crazy that you cast it as mean. I mean, I, I, I I've seen your other shows, you know, p u i n So I can, I can see you acting in many different roles. But like, you, you hit the nail on the head with the role that you did get. So I'm very happy that yeah. <laughs> you, you got the role for sure. But that's amazing. Um, And being that, you know, I know that we had mentioned that, like, Never Let Me Go is a very different series for the both of you. What was your reaction to being casted for this role? Like, did you kn- did you have an idea this is what you wanted to do? Like, what walk us through it when you got the call that you guys got casted? So, our our reactions were that we were excited and uh, we really wanted to play the role as it was something that we never really like got in, into before. So. Like uh, most of the stories in g m m TV aren't usually like drama and action packed. Uh, they're <laughs> like most most of the stories that we've been in so far are like uh, romantic comedies, uh, things things that have to do with high school, things that have to do with college. But uh, with this storyline, it's a bodyguard and uh, it's a it's business related. So we think that like yeah, it, it was a very exciting storyline. 
and we were really excited ทั้งแรกคือตอนที่ผมแคสเป็นเป็นปลาใช่ไหมครับคือมันก็รู้สึกตื่นเต้นมากนะเพราะว่าคืออย่างปลาบนปลาเนี่ยมันจะเป็นซีรีส์ที่คอมเมดี้ค่อนข้างมากแบบเออมีความโบ้บ้าความตลกแต่นี่มันเหมือนเป็นการสวิชโหมดมาที่ไม่ได้เล่นแบบดราม่าเลยพอถ้าเราได้กลับไปดูปลาบนปลาอย่างเงี้ยมันจะต่างกันมากเลยครับแล้วคือตอนแรกคือผมก็เออมีมีความความตั้งใจอย่างหนึ่งก็คือว่าเออถ้าเกิดเราอยากเล่นหนังเราอยากลองเล่นเป็นแบบว่าบริการเราอยากเล่นเป็นคิวบูอะไรเงี้ยแล้วมันก็เออได้เหมือนได้สามตอนบางอย่างที่เราได้เล่นบทนี้ครับใช่โอเคครับผม so um obviously when he first got the role he was really excited because um it's like if you compare with the first series which is really com comedic the new one it's it has much more drama and much more mm-hmm. fighting scene which is a totally different style as opposed to the first one right And one thing that he really wanted to do before is also to play a role as like a bodyguard or one with like a lot of fight mm-hmm. scenes. So this is also something like a dream come true for him as well. <gasps> awesome! <laughs> that's so that's cool. really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's really cool. And you know, like you had mentioned, JMM TV does tons of different shows, and we love them all. So it's really exciting to see a show like this and having you guys star as it, which is amazing. I mean, I you guys, like I said, and I will continue to say, are doing such an amazing job. So it's really cool to you know hear that, and you know, Pond hearing that this was you know a dream come true for you. That's awesome. We love to hear that as well. So that's really cool. We love that <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Were there any funny or embarrassing moments behind the scenes that you guys can tell us about? p o n s already laughing. Ah, the matter, but if you talk about funny moments behind the scene, it's going to be quite a lot. There are some funny moments in the scene. It's like the fire on the ceiling. It's going to be like the fire on the ceiling. It's going to be like the fire on the ceiling. It's going to be like the fire on the ceiling. It's going to be like the fire on the ceiling. It's going to be like the fire on the ceiling. It's going to be like the fire on the ceiling. มีความดราม่าเนาะเวลาเราเข้าซีนกันมันก็จะมันเป็นอีกคนหนึ่งกันเพราะว่าอย่างที่ทุกคนได้เห็นก็มันสวิตมันพลิกบทบาทเป็นตัวละครแล้วมันจะต้องมีความยากในบทต่างๆใช่ไหมครับแต่ผมรู้สึกว่าเออพอนอกจออย่างเงี้ยแล้วเราจะเป็นตัวโจเป็นคนแบบเป็นตัวตลกที่แบบว่าคอยแบบสร้างสีสันให้กองอะไรอย่างเงี้ยครับใช่เวลากรรมในความแสบในกองก็ก็มีประมาณนะครับที่แบบว่าเห็นเบื้องหลังรู้สึกว่าเออยิ้มได้ Yeah. So there actually, if you ask about funny moments, there are many in this series. Because if you talk about the first series, um, Fish in the Sky, it's already a comedic move. Uh, it's already a comedic s- series. So outside and inside, it's both funny, right? However, this time, when they go on camera, they have to be like they have to change their character. They have to be serious. They have to be dramatic, like completely change. So that's why when they are sub, they are already. Being a funny person outside behind the camera, and when they have to change, it creates a much more funny sort of moments behind yeah. the scene. Yeah. You can say, yeah. Okay. So that that's why <laughs> that, that's pretty pretty much the gist of it. Because when you have to be funny, uh, when when you have to be serious out inside on camera, but then you are a funny person outside, it just mm. co- creates this contrast. I get these it. Two scenes, yeah, as opposed like- to business guy. The vibe on set was, uh, it's so usually when it's like when you do like a drama, right? The vibe on set is quite, it's quite harsh. Uh, there's there's quite a lot of tension. Uh, sometimes it's really thick, like the tension is really thick, and you really need uh, you really need comedic relief. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you really you really need some comic relief. So like yeah. most of the time, we we try to provide that. Yeah. And one of the things that <laughs> One of the things that <laughs> it sounds it's unfortunate that it happened, but it's quite funny for me is that he gets injured like all the time. Oh, <laughs> you! Yeah, like, he, it's funny like, for you. Okay, Pan, we're going to put you in a bubble. <laughs> oh my god! He uh, had like uh, a bunch of like uh, blisters and everything. Oh my god! Because um, he was chasing a car. Yeah, and it was a gravel road. And he tripped on the gravel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and he Con, went, like, went face first onto the road. <laughs> so okay. It's unfortunate, and it's not good that it happened. Yeah. But like, it, it's it funny for you. <laughs> you know, you get it. Like, you get it, right? Like. Yeah. Listen, who and I would be laughing too, so I understand. <laughs> But Con, <laughs> we're putting you in a bubble because if you're hurting yourself all the time, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, but this isn't like the only instance. There's a lot of instances where, yes. like, 
he hurts himself or he gets injured. So like, <laughs> it's not a good thing that it happened, but it's still funny to me. <laughs> Who and we're like the same person because I would I would be crying laughing so I get it no, I understand seriously. but no I understand like I mean having comedic relief is really important and I know how hard it is to kind of get into character we by no means are actors or actresses but like when we have to get ready for interviews and <laughs> we'll be laughing about something and then having to like come together <laughs> so we understand like how how difficult that can be so that makes sense that's really cool <laughs> love that <laughs> Um, and so, you know, with that, you know, with, there's a lot of, a lot of different BL series now that are coming out, right? So there's different genres, different, you know, we have like high school, we have college, we have mafia, we have different, you know, types of BLs that are coming out. So with Never Let Me Go, like, why do you think this series is different than those? And why do you think fans should watch this one? Well, I think the strongest point of uh, Never Let Me Go is our plot yeah. and mm-hmm. uh, our, our relationship. So it's more, it's, uh, this series focuses a lot on the plot and plot devices. Uh, the narrative is really important throughout as mm-hmm. uh, each event in the series isn't, dri- isn't exactly driven by the characters themselves, isn't exactly driven by uh, Bam and Gale, but uh, is driven by, um, the surroundings, driven by the plot, and uh, different by driven by external influences. So I think that uh, that sets it apart from a lot of uh, current series right now. And I think that we go pretty deep in terms of uh, the relationship between the characters, not just the relationship of uh, or the chemistry between us two in real life, but um, the feelings, uh, the relationships of like two people who are in love and two people who spend their time together. Uh, Go through struggles and go through hardships together. มันจะมีความขัดแย้งของเรื่องอาทิบ้านหรือแบบว่าเป็นรักที่ต่างชนชั้นหน้าที่อะไรเงี้ยครับผมที่มันจะบอกว่าเป็นตัวกั้นความส
you know, you have to like smack some sense into him. But yeah, most of the time he's a reckless. That's really cool. Okay. Love that. So reckless and handsome fisherman. Perfect. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're kind of getting to the point of our interview. So for these interviews, what we, you know, it's called behind the screen. And pretty much what we do is we get to know you guys beyond your characters, beyond the screen. So I know that you probably have already, because we've seen a lot of your videos, you know, talking about different acting and how you guys got into acting. But for our viewers, if you could, how did you guys both get into acting and why did you decide to become actors? For me, uh, so not, not for me, I've seen you know, people, but, uh, การอยากเป็นนักแสดงเพราะว่าคือสมัยก่อนที่หลับเราเราหยุดเรียนอยู่ไฮสคูลอย่างนี้ใช่ไหมครับเราจะมีความรู้สึกที่เออเป็นคนที่ไม่จริงๆแล้วเป็นคนไม่ค่อยทําพวกงานกิจกรรมในการแบบเกี่ยวกับด้านวงการบันเทิงด้านการแบบว่าเป็นเป็นสายนี้นะครับแต่ว่ามีสิ่งหนึ่งที่เราเคยทําคือเราเคยเล่นดนตรีครับเล่นแบบดนตรีอะไรอย่างนี้ที่แบบว่ารู้สึกแบบมันเป็นความแบบอารมณ์ศิลปินหน่อยๆที่เรามีความสุขเวลาที่เราได้แบบว่าเพอร์ฟอร์มบนเวทีหรือแบบว่าได้แสดงให้คนเห็นครับใช่แล้วพอแบบว่านั่นคือจุดเริ่มต้นที่ทําให้เราเริ่มสนใจงานเกี่ยวกับพวกงานดนตรีงานแสดงอะไรพวกนี้ครับใช่แล้วพอแบบว่าเราได้ลองเข้ามาในวงการบันเทิงแล้วลองทํางานเกี่ยวกับพวกสายแบบการแสดงอะไรเงี้ยเรารู้สึกว่าเออมันแบบมันก็เป็นสิ่งหนึ่งที่แปลกใหม่ดีแล้วก็เรารู้สึกว่าเราชอบครับใช่Okay, so how he actually got into acting? So back then, back in high school, when he was in high school, he is actually someone who doesn't participate in a lot of the entertainment business type of activities. But what he did do is play instruments, and it's something that sort of brings out the artist spirit in him. And once, and that's so basically when he performs on stage, it's something that he is really interested in, and he's he enjoys it a lot. So once he actually got into this business, he Feels that yeah, he actually likes doing it. He likes acting. He likes playing music. He likes performing, and that's just that's just how he goes and how he got into acting. That's really cool. So cool. So one of my earliest inspirations actually revolved around New York. <gasps> so, uh, so it was like I think it was ten or eleven, right? Uh, there was a Broadway that came to. Perform in Thailand for like four rounds, which was Phantom of the Opera. Oh, amazing! Oh, so good. I'm a big, fan, I'm a huge fan of, by the way. Uh, and I went with my mother, and I instantly fell in love with a storyline. Instantly fell in love with uh, live acting and live performances. Mm. And uh, so, when I had the chance, I went to New York with my family, uh, and I went to like actually watch uh, watch the. Actual performance at the theater. Yeah. Um, since, you know, usually, right, uh, when they come on tour or when they go to other countries, they don't usually bring like the entire full set of cast mm. or like full set of equipment. So I wanted to, ex to experience firsthand of what like theater was actually like. Mm. And I I distinctly remember that being in front of the theater, as you know, we were tourists and we didn't really know anything about it. That we had to like book online or we had to. Uh, Book in advance. We had to get tickets uh, in front of the theater, and the only tickets that were available were like two hundred, three hundred dollar tickets. Yeah. And then, like, I, re I remember like standing there with my parents, like contemplating whether or not we should watch it. And my mom just like gave in and like, "Yep, this is uh, we're probably never gonna come here again, or like get the chance to like watch with the three of us again." So she agreed to uh, to let me watch and. Yeah. Ever since from that moment, it became one of my inspirations to become an actor. That oh, is amazing. So cool. Yeah, I know that there are even actors and actresses here that get inspired by Broadway. So that's really cool that you know it, you know came over to Thailand and then you came over here to New York and saw that. I can only imagine the difference by seeing it in Thailand and then seeing the full set must have been awe inspiring. So that's really really cool. Um, so now we have to be on the lookout for when uh, Poolin makes his own Broadway debut debut. So hopefully that. Yeah. Because we would go to the show. <laughs> love that. <laughs> That's really, really cool. Um, so something that, you know, we also love about you guys is, you know, the series that you guys have. I think it's called Little Big World, if I'm correct. Um, uh, 
Yes, it's really cool. You know, we're really, really big travel bugs. So we love traveling and watching your guys's, you know, little series on that. So we're actually going to Thailand in February. So can you guys tell us and yes. <laughs> so can you guys tell us, you know, from your experience, what is one place that we must visit in Thailand? In Bangkok or do you want uh, the entire country? Um, so we're staying in Bangkok, but we are willing to travel, not too, too far, but, <laughs> but <laughs> far. <laughs> not too, too far. Okay. Define, define too far. Like let's, an hour, let's an hour. I would say let's, let's limit it at maximum Hua Hin. If you go south, I would say, or if you go other places, maybe limit it to like, yeah, Utea probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's not too, too far. That's what I thought for them. That's what I thought for them. So mostly we go like like the Everywhere. northest the of the north, north like the southest because like uh uh let's say like the the tape we filmed like uh two weeks ago a week ago two weeks ago we were literally ten kilometers from Laos. Let's let's do it like this then. Let's do the entire of Thailand. It's not that hard to travel around, I would say, and that yeah, opens yeah, a lot like, of options like because. An hour. If, if you limit to Bangkok, there's like really limited choices, I would say. You okay. know, I'll, I'll decide for you. Do the entire country. <laughs> it's, like, it's like an hour plane ride. Um, mm ถ้าเกิดเป็นตัวผมนะครับสถานที่ที่ผมแนะนําในประเทศไทยแล้วคือจริงๆประเทศไทยมันเป็นประเทศที่ไปเที่ยวง่ายนะครับเพราะว่า
<laughs> I had gone to bank. We had gone to Bangkok a few months ago and um, so one of the managers got me to eat squid. So you never know. I might <laughs> end up eating seafood. Who knows? I will definitely try that. Thank you so much for the recommendations. It looks, it sounds amazing. Just like the, the spicy stuff, or the curry stuff. Uh, if you can, if you can just try it once, it uh, doesn't matter if you don't like it or not, but you can say that you've tried it before. I'll do that. I will do that. I will definitely get my reaction on camera too, because it'll be hilarious. <laughs> I can't even imagine. But yes, I, I love that. We're very excited. I definitely want to go to those places. So I put that down, Nick. I hope you wrote that down because I would really <laughs> go there. Awesome. I know it is. I know it is. It's For sure. <laughs> so Pond, we're actually really, really big fans of your, you know, dance covers. We've been kind of following your journey um, as you're learning a lot of K-pop dances and dancing in general. So, so far, what would you say has been your hardest dance that you've had to cover? And what has been your favorite dance that you've covered? สำหรับผมนะครับถ้าเกิดเป็นเรื่องของอ่าสิ่งที่ยากที่สุดในการที่เราเต้นมาก็คืออ่าทุกสกิลในการเต้นเนี่ยมันก็จะต้องมีการ
Can I choose more than uh one one person? You can choose as many as you want. Or for actors, uh, if I have a chance, I would would like to uh, um, to work with Emma Stone. Ooh, I love Emma Stone. And for and for actor, I would like to work with um. Spider-Man gang, uh, Tom Holland, Toby Maguire. <laughs> He said the Spider-Man gang. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have the fourth Spider-Man now. <laughs> said the Spider-Man gang, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> each other means it's gonna be four. Yeah. <laughs> and then Pong's in the corner, just. <laughs> I love that. Awesome. Boom. <laughs> what about you? If you could work with any actress or actor. So. I actually have two in mind uh, that I think like it would be really cool and really an honor. Uh, the first is well, they're both legendary, but the first is Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I haven't heard, heard that. that. Yeah, really interesting. Really interesting for me, like to be like on set or be like work with him because hmm. I don't know. He seems like on screen on television. He seems like a really interesting character and really interesting person. He's hilarious, so that would be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the second person? Yeah, and the second person um, it was mostly because I want to see him in person is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> okay. I want to try him. You okay? Let me just say the both of you just gave answers. Number one, we have never heard before, and we've asked that no. question quite a lot. So that is really cool. But I definitely wasn't expecting Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> really? What what answers do you usually get? Yeah. We get Leonardo DiCaprio, Johnny Depp, um, Robert Downey Jr., that's Robert a Downey Jr., Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. We've got Dwayne the Rock Johnson comes a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, never Emma Stone. <laughs> The Spider Man gang, <laughs> Morgan Freeman, and Samuel L. Jackson. That's really cool. You guys are definitely the first to say that on our show. So that's that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's really cool. <laughs> what is something that you guys like about each other? Something that we like about each other. สำหรับตัวผมนะครับคือด้วยความที่เราสองคนนะรู้จักกันมาประมาณ2ปีเนาะแล้วแบบว่าในช่วงระยะเวลาที่ผ่านมาเนี่ยเราก็เหมือนกับได้ทํางานด้วยกันตลอดแล้วก็จะได้รู้นิสัยของกันและกันอะไรอย่างเงี้ยผมรู้สึกว่าเออแบบมันมีหลายอย่างมากเลยที่ผมประทับใจในตัวเขาก็คืออ่าเธอให้ผมเลือกอย่างหนึ่งนะผมก็อยากจะเลือกอ่าความความตั้งใจทํางานของเขาแล้วกันครับเพราะว่าคือในช่วงเวลาที่เราอยู่ด้วยกันช่วงถ่ายเพื่อนายอ่าในวันเลมิโกเนี่ยเรามีทั้งซ้อมคอนเสิร์ตมีทั้งถ่ายซีรีส์แล้วเขาก็มีเล่นหนังอีกเรื่องหนึ่งด้วยที่กำลังถ่ายทําอยู่อะไรเงี้ยผมเห็นแบบว่าตลอดเลี้ยเวลาคือเขามีสอบด้วยเรียนด้วยอะไรเงี้ยก็คือมันเป็นช่วงเวลาที่เขาไม่ได้พักผ่อนอะไรเงี้ยครับแต่ว่าสิ่งที่ผมก็คือเขายังตั้งใจทํางานแล้วก็ยังแบบว่าเออมีแบบเวิร์กฮาร์ดกับมันอยู่ตลอดอะไรเงี้ยครับโดยที่ไม่เคยบ่นว่าแบบเรียนเป็นคนตั้งใจทํางานมากเลยครับ so They both knew both knew each other for about two years already and worked together a lot, right? Mm. And there are many things that he's impressed with. Um, however, if he has to pick just one thing, it would be his dedication doing work. Because let's, for example, doing the shooting for Never Let It Go, right? It's not just doing the series. There are so many things that going on. Like there are series, um, other series, there are concerts, and he also has like exams. But he always works hard and gives his best doing work. So dedication. Oh, yeah. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> he's he he once he wants to do something or once he has he has a focus he will lock onto it and he will not like deviate from that path like at all. So he has quite like a, he has quite a one track mind where like if he sets his goal to do something, he'll he'll not he he won't budge from that goal at all. Uh, and I've seen it ever since I've met him. And yeah, and one of the things that I've seen is that he really wanted to start filming on uh, "Never Let Me Go" ever since like February. No. And then like he's been like he has he has literally messaged the director like every day, <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost every day from like February until like the day of like filming about like yeah, how's work on the series so far? Like when are we gonna start filming? Oh. <laughs> 
football strap. <laughs> that is awesome. Love that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so running off the last question. Now, if you could describe each other in three words, what would they be? <laughs> One fact, like focused. Okay. Uh, what else? A bit shy at times. Mm. Actually, he's quite he's quite shy at times, and uh, for the last one, mm, I don't know. Be <laughs> 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 hard. What are you trying to say? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Just say. Mm. <laughs> and some fishermen. Like, like, <laughs> That's a fisherman. <laughs> Same word. <laughs> It's like there, there's a lot of things to say. However, if, if I had to pick one, is um, he's he's chill. Chill. Okay. Chill. Yeah. Good answer. Love that. Chill. Go for me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Take care. But yeah, bro. But yeah. Okay. Car carrying, man. Carrying. Can I? Bye. Bye. Carrying. Mm. Hard working. Mm. Okay. And the last one. Handsome. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I, I sort of knew it. I sort of knew it. <laughs> <laughs> one of the answers. I love that. Perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> And so now we're kind of getting to the point of our interview where it's towards the end and it's been such a pleasure getting to know the both of you. We've had such a great time just being able to see your guys' chemistry in person is awesome and just getting to know the both of you as people. Um, and so what we do at the end of our interviews is we play a game called New York Minute. I know we've kind of discussed this before, but we're obviously from New York and so we love playing games. And so for this game, we're going to ask you guys a series of questions and what you guys are going to do is you're going to point at either yourself or each other for whoever you think that question best fits. Make sense? Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. So the very first question is, who takes the longest to memorize their lines? Okay. <laughs> that was <cool. laughs> I, did, I, did. I think it depends on, yeah, it depends on like the type of line. If it's like a regular line and doesn't take very long, if it's like, like something that's like really focused or like you have to get the wording right. Yeah, yeah that's kind of hard. Gotcha. So a monologue, he takes forever. <laughs> Love that. Awesome. Who's most likely to take a nap on set? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Who is? Mostly due to lack of sleep. Yeah. Lack of sleep. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, who takes the longest uh, to get ready on set? Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like today I, I finished my hair and my makeup before again. Oh, okay. All right. So it just depends on the day. Got it. Makes sense. <laughs> Who takes the long to text back? <laughs> that wasn't even like, you didn't even wait for the three. No. It was just me. <laughs> Done. I, I know that I don't text. I don't see my text. No. I don't I know that I don't see my notifications a lot. <laughs> okay. Who is the more adventurous one? One, two, three. I, I really <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You? Okay. Lui, Ta Tai, Lui, Lui. Okay. Love that. Okay. <laughs> Who's the most serious one on set? One, two, three. Go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's more like the jokester. He's, he's a lot on set. I'm with, I can I'm see with, that. 
I can see that. That makes yeah. sense. Love that. Well, so then that kind of that, 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 that answers my that. question because my next question was, who's the funniest one? So one, for the audience, two, please. Okay. <laughs> please. <laughs> Got it. Fun. Got it. <laughs> who's the most shy? One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah he, he said it earlier as well. One of the three words, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Shy. <laughs> <Love that. laughs> he doesn't have to be shy. And for example, like sometimes, like you don't, like, you do like a dance cover. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you like hesitate if you like should post it or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's like you don't have to be shy about it. Yeah, yeah you're a good dancer, Pond. Don't ever hesitate. <laughs> for sure. I love that. Who is more of a foodie? ชอบกินชอบเรื่องอาหารมากกว่ากันหนึ่งสองสามเออโอเคฟอนฟอนจะชนะนี่เขาทุกคำทุกคำเขาชอบมากใครเหมือนตัวละครของตัวเองมากกว่ากันมากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุดคือว่ามากที่สุด <laughs> we can think first, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pond. Okay. He's like confused. <laughs> well, he's a handsome fisherman, oh. right? No. No. None. None. None of the. Okay. None. Okay. Okay. Neither. Okay. okay. Love that. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much. That was the end of our game. It's been such a pleasure getting to know the both of you. And real quick, if you can, just give a message to your fans. Oh. อยากจะขอขอบคุณทุกทุกคนมากมานะครับที่แบบว่าคอยติดตามจากทางนิวยอร์กนะครับผมก็รู้สึกแบบเราตื่นตันใจเหมือนกันเพราะว่าเราก็ไม่รู้ว่าแบบมีแฟนคลับทางนู้นที่กำลังจะไปด้วยเพราะว่าเราสองคนอยู่ทางนี้ก็สัมผัสได้แต่แบบประเทศรอบข้างเพื่อนบ้านใกล้ๆเนาะแต่พอรู้ว่าแบบมีแฟนคลับจากทางนู้นก็รู้สึกแบบอยากเจอทุกทุกคนมากเลยครับถ้ามีโอกาสจะไปด้วยนะครับโอเค so First of all, he would like to thanks like every fan for following all their work, and they are really appreciative of it, because he really didn't know that there are so many fans from overseas, like you know, from New York, like you guys, or even from countries like the neighboring countries. There are so many of them, and now that he knows, he would like to meet every one of them. Love that. That's awesome. And Pooh, what about you? Yeah, so uh, thank you very much for supporting us and for following us all this time. And uh, it's an honor for you guys to invite us to uh, uh, to be our first experience of American media. And uh, I hope that we could we will be able to work with yeah. each other again. And thank you, American fans, for supporting us. And we'll hope to see you soon. Awesome! Aww. Thank you, and absolutely, thank you guys so much. We hope you have an thank amazing you. rest of your day. Uh, hope to see you yeah. soon. Yes, absolutely. Bye. Bye.